poor woodcutter set out one fine morning to cut firewood to sell at the market. Wish me luck, dear wife, he said, that I might find some fallen tree in the king's forest. Only the fallen wood is free to poor peasants like ourselves. As he merged into the forest with his sharp axe over his shoulder, he eared the trees right and left. All were upright and healthy. Others had come before and scored the ground of branches. I'll get some wood by hook or by crook, he muttered. Finally, he stopped in front of a great oak tree. Leafy branches crowned its huge trunk. Now, here is a tree worth its weight in gold, exclaimed the woodcutter. I will make a fortune cutting it down for marker. As he swung his axe high over his shoulder, a tree fairy appeared before him and said, Stop, bear this tree, for it has lived longer than you. Respect your elders. But this tree is worth a great amount of money, protested the woodcutter. I am tired of laboring so hard, traveling to find broken branches to sell. This is good wood and I mean to make use of it. The fairy threw her arms around the tree and said, If you give me your word that you will not cut down this ancient tree, I will grant you three wishes. The woodcutter put down his axe and considered the proposal. Three wishes, he mused, thinking about vast wealth. If you promise that you will never cut down an old tree, the three wishes will be yours, said the fairy. Very well, the woodcutter said. A promise is a promise. I agree never to cut down an old tree. Besides, I will have no further need to cut wood. I will wish for wealth enough to retire. In a winkling, the woodcutter's axe disappeared and the fairy vanished. By these signs, the woodcutter knew that the fairy would grant his wishes. He ran home to tell his good wife. Red-faced and painting, he burst in through the door. Wife, wife, he cried. We are rich beyond our wildest dreams. The wife blinked in disbelief. How is it that you left this morning despairing of our poverty and you returned tonight exclaiming our wealth? I spared the tree in the king's forest, the woodcutter explained, and the tree fairy said she would grant me three wishes for my kindness. Then think carefully, said the good wife with glee. Well then, said the woodcutter, I might wish for a fine house with a garden. Fool, said the wife, think bigger, wish for a palace. What good is a palace without gold enough to maintain it with servants, cooks and stable boys, said the woodcutter. I must wish for a bag of gold. You are not thinking big enough, husband. Why wish for a bag of gold when you could have a cartload of it and a fine horse to pull the cart, the woodcutter exclaimed. Don't waste your wishes, cried the woman. You could have a herd of horses. All this thinking, said the woodcutter, is making me very hungry. I wish we had some sausage. In a blink, a huge chain of sausages fell into the middle of the room. Oh no, screeched the wife. You've wasted a wish. What a fool you are. You could have anything. And you think about your stomach. Unable to stand the tirade of his wife, the woodcutter said, Oh, I wish those sausages were stuck to your nose. In a little time, as it takes to tell it, the sausages struck fast to the wife's nose. Horrified, the couple tried to pull them off. The harder they pulled, the tighter they stuck. The wife fell to the floor, sobbing so miserably that her husband said, Well, I suppose there's nothing to do but to wish the sausages were off. In a blink, the sausages were on a plate on the table. The woodcutter and his wife could do nothing but laugh at their own folly. Nothing good ever comes from arguing, they agreed. At least we have a fine supper, the woodcutter said. And never a finer supper was shared. So, the story imparts valuable lessons about contentment, the consequences of greed, and the importance of thoughtful decision making. Firstly, the story teaches us the importance of being content with what we have. The woodcutter's initial desire for wealth and a comfortable life led him to disregard the value of the ancient oak tree. However, by sparing the tree and making a promise to the fairy, he ultimately gains more than he anticipated. It reminds us to appreciate and respect the natural world around us, rather than always seeking material possessions. Secondly, the story highlights the consequences of greed and impulsive wishes. 
The woodcutter's wife continually encouraged him to wish for more extravagant things, thinking only of personal gain. However, their greed leads to misfortune and disappointment. It serves as a reminder that excessive desires can cloud judgment and lead to negative outcomes. Lastly, the tale emphasizes the importance of thoughtful decision making. The woodcutter's impulsive and thoughtless wishes bring unintended consequences. It teaches us the significance of considering the long-term effects of our actions and making wise choices. Rash decisions often lead to regret, while thoughtful decisions can lead to better outcomes. In the end, the woodcutter and his wife learned the valuable lessons of that contentment, wise decision making and harmony are essential for a fulfilling and happy life. It reminds us to appreciate the simple joys, avoid excessive greed and make choices that align with our values and well-being of others. This is Inspired Data. Thank you for watching. If you want more life-changing lessons, share through stories, subscribe to this channel. You can also go and watch any of the other videos on this channel. And don't forget, you have the power to change your life.